Thanks, John. Yes, sir. Okay, moving on to our next question in queue. We Jia Jang with CBS. Please go ahead. Hi there. Thank you guys for doing this, and thank you, Kirby. Um, I have a question about the um, continued attacks um, in the Red Sea. So you said today that you've seen that they are smaller in scale. Um, today, obviously, the um, strike on the uh, Maltese carrier um, did not result in any injuries. Can you c verify how many injuries have been reported in these now 30-some attacks on commercial vessels? Um, and if it's none, can you help me understand, if these are missiles, why, how there haven't been more injuries? I imagine the crew sizes are small, but um, when I hear missile strikes, I expect there to be more injury. So if you could just help me process that. We got, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take your question and see if we can get a better answer maybe from Central Command. I, I don't have a list of casualties from these merchant ships. That's not the kind of thing. I don't think we're centrally tracking that, but uh, – don't take that to the bank. Let me talk to CENTCOM and see if they've got some sort of uh, figures for you. Um, uh, you're right. I mean, I, I would a couple of things here. Number one, uh, most of these missile attacks and drone attacks have been ineffective. You're right. There was a hit today, uh, but no injuries caused, no real significant damage to the ship, uh, by the way. Uh, most of the attacks are, are knocked out of the sky before they can get to, uh, to the targets. And a good many of these uh, missile and drone attacks have simply missed, particularly the ballistic missiles, have just uh, fallen uh, harmlessly into the water without hitting a ship. So that's one reason why I think the, the, the numbers haven't been dramatic. Number two, you named it. I think you're, you know, it's a, it's a fair point. I mean, a lot of merchant ships uh, today don't have large crews. It's not like a Navy ship where, you, you know, you'd have hundreds of sailors aboard a destroyer or thousands aboard an aircraft carrier. Uh, these large merchant ships, uh, there's a lot of automation, and they simply don't have big crews. That's probably one reason as well. Um, and then they're also they're, they're very big uh, ships. And so even if one were to take a hit uh, like the one today, um, depending on where it is struck, may have little to, to no impact or certainly a, a, a not a significant impact on that ship's ability to continue to, uh, to, to transit uh, safely. So again, they're, they're very big ships. A lot of their freeboard, what we call the the, the space between the, the water level and the top of the side of the ship that's called freeboard can be very, very high, depending on what how much freight they're holding. So um, there's, there's probably a lot of reasons to that, uh, but uh, let me uh, let me take it back and see if we can give you a better figure on the, on the data. Okay, so given what you just said, uh, Kirby, and given the fears of escalation that the conflict will expand, can you explain why the retaliatory strikes are still worth it? Our retaliatory strikes or theirs? The U.S.'s and our allies. Essentially, if, it's, if their strikes aren't really having that much of an impact and they're not causing injuries, and there is a concern that, you know, retaliatory strikes will widen the war, just, you know, why is it still because, worth it? Except we believe by taking away some of their capability, degrading that capability, which we think we did on Friday – uh, it can have an impact on uh, on the effectiveness of future strikes by taking away, degrading some of their capability. Certainly, uh, makes it harder for them to conduct these strikes. And just because there hasn't been a catastrophically successful one yet, thanks to a lot of great work by uh, the U.S. Navy and, and allied and partner navies, doesn't mean that uh, that we can just turn a blind eye and sit back and and, and do nothing. Uh, we want these attacks to stop. Uh, we warned the uh, Houthis not to conduct them. They continued to conduct them. So we took action uh, on Friday night to to, uh, to more significantly degrade their uh, capability to do that. Um, and as we've said before, we do we we uh, uh, while we won't telegraph telegraph future punches, we're not going to we're not going uh, to hesitate to take further action if, if needed. 